Hello Virgo, welcome to my channel. My name's Catherine from Soul Siren Tarot, here to do your 2021 outlook. All right Virgos, as always, thank you, thank you to all the current subscribers, all the newbies on board. Growth of the channel, phenomenal. All your likes, donations, everything that keeps me going running the, the, the channel, so thank you. Um, I have created a members uh, group, please do hit join if you want to get to that, where we're just building some live readings uh, and other um, extras um, that as members... Um, you can access but the main reason is to get our community together where you can talk and speak to each other that's what i'm looking for All right did a, a live last night that was great so you can see that if you want to if you're new to the channel it's a general reading it's not going to resonate with everybody if it does great i hope it helps you if it doesn't just kick it to the curb or if you know someone it would help please do share i am also got some slots open for private readings because i'm just like literally doing them for the week ahead all the time at the minute to make sure i can keep up with every Everything in the schedule all right guys thank you for Virgo and if you haven't already and you do enjoy the reading please please do subscribe help me keep the channel running look at this Virgo right starting out with the two of cups this is hot hot love and I'll tell you why it's hot hot love because it's showing next to this beautiful ace of wands Virgo, wow, because the Ace of Wands is all about Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine. Now remember, we're all in, in ourselves, Divine Masculine, Feminine. You put these genders as they fit for you, okay? But this is for a Virgo that's got hot new love coming in the life. If you're in a relationship at the moment, it could be that it reignites, right, because of something you're doing. But this is hot passion in 2021 for this Virgo. I absolutely love it. You don't need to overthink it either, because with it being the Ace of Wands, Aces are gifts from spirit, right? So this is telling us that divine timing is in play with the Two of Cups as well. This love union will come together or increase when it's meant to. So Virgo, it's like, because I enjoy, I mean, love readings are beautiful, but I always worry that, you know, sometimes if we're looking for that, we can get stuck in it and just waiting, you know, like looking out the window is today the day. That's not how we should be because time's an illusion. And actually the quicker you do what you're meant to be doing as well in terms of focusing on you, your work, your craft, the sooner all this comes together. That's what I feel. Look, and as I say, it's beautiful, right? Two of Wands new pathway new journey well we couldn't ask for a better start to 2021 for this virgo could we absolutely beautiful coming out of i want to say a real choppy time with the ace because you don't get aces without that and as i'm saying it i look down and we've got look at this the five of cups yeah grief stricken this could be a year you know you might because i think a lot of people are a bit like that with 2020 but this could be a year where you're looking back going fucking hell what was that right what was it and why did i deserve it why did i have to go through that pain that's what this virgo is saying may have took you a while to get up right but i want to say whoever it is or whatever it is that puts you in this state quite frankly is not worth your time and i come back to what i just said right time is an illusion when we're unhappy right what you think about it right when you've had a day where, let's say it's a Saturday, you're not working, right? Um, and you, you, you're feeling miserable, you're feeling upset. That day can be like never ending. The longest day, you know, you're like, fucking hell, is it only like half nine? Is it only ten? You know, you're in this sort of energy because you're like dragging your feet, you're down. Can you see it? I'm upset right but if you turn around and say well no there's always something better if something ended it was meant to end yes i've got to deal with the pain of that but it was meant to end two beautiful cups here two beautiful cups starting your reading i'm going to go in search of that i'm going to put my traveler's cloak on i'm going to do me i'm going to keep focusing on me and that will you know to, the love will come along the right person at the right time and it's like time speeds up doesn't it because then think about a saturday when you know maybe you were going out for the day um to an amusement park or whatever it is how quick does that day go? Do you see what I'm saying? Time is an illusion. When you're happy and joyful, it's like, woof, all of a sudden, whoa, what happened? You know, gone for a night out and it's before you know it, the taxi's waiting, whatever, right? So move your energy. It's an energy shift. That's what I'm feeling. And as I say, look at this, the fool. 
it's mirroring that two of cups this is a virgo who's being asked to look around and take a separate path with the two of ones there right venture adventure forward venture forward push forward yeah it's yours for the taking that's what i'm getting it is yours for the taking you just have to embrace it you know like lift your head up that's what i feel virgo lift your head up yeah except that pain has happened in your life always happens in our life think about a child as it grows right there's always little accidents and incidents isn't there minor hopefully play you know bless but it, each one makes you think oh, i won't do that again you know or do that silly mistake again i always say you know because i always remember putting just sticking my hand in a cup of hot tea <laughs> i learned not to do that again very quickly and that's how we have to look at it don't be codependent on someone else for your happiness love and joy should sit on top of that but there's a passionate new beginning here passionate new love coming your way when you choose choose to move forward two twos here two of cups two of ones also got the fool here and an ace it's just telling me like it's like there's new opportunities waiting for you but i don't feel like this virgo seeing them at the moment right because maybe you're still in that grief do your healing right whoever puts you in that they are not worth your fucking time right that's not love if someone loved you they'd be with you if someone loved you they'd be caring for you if someone loved you they'd be nurturing you if they're not that's not love right wow what did i say everything time is an illusion divine timing temperance here and that's exactly what we're looking at the divine are saying to this virgo look it's, it's alchemy fire and water we're mixing it for you this is a spiritual journey accept it as such right for some of you who are thinking well will an ex return right if, if that's what you're thinking i mean to be honest anyone who knocks me in the five of cups will fucking come and doing it again but you've got your free will and i respect you for it if you're waiting for an ex to come back it could be that they've been sent away to learn some lessons but with the fool here it's just really pushing me that it's like the bright new beginnings they were not worth your time they didn't know how to love they didn't know how to love that's what i'm getting you need someone who knows how to love right but you're being asked to put the work in at the moment into you eight of coins coming under this ace of wands and i feel like just trust that the right one will come along at the right time that's what i feel right virgo so when you get the eight of coins as well it's about becoming master of your craft right it's not you know i don't want to take away from work and jobs because obviously that's important but it is kind of like not just that do you know what i mean it's like what is your passion what are the desires of your heart what is it you're being called to do what is it that someone's always said to you you know crikey how are you so good at that because you know it, that's your talent that's your calling it's what you've done lifetime after lifetime and it feels like it's time to take that to another level because it, coming under that ace of wands as well it's back to what i said with this we're divine masculine divine feminine we stand as a whole first anything else is a beautiful addition to that and i just feel this is a virgo is having to pull themselves back together that's what i feel but you can do it trust it and know it yep yeah? coming under this two of wands i've got the ten of wands this is releasing the burdens can you see it's another card i feel a feeling like you can't get back up right things are holding you down maybe you've come out of a relationship and you're still trying to sort the financials or you know the debris from it shall we say right but i feel as you're going into 2021 it's going to become clear how you can do that how you can release it off your shoulders yeah completion a 10 right that's what i'm feeling and as you do that trust and know can you say these brand new journeys open up for you these brand new opportunities see a great year for your virgo but it may you may still be sat in a place of pain maybe you've struggled through 2020 it's been difficult i know to move out of what was it what was a, a hurtful situation right particularly challenging in this year but you are going to have victory and success right six of wands beautiful it's because before the six of wands right is the five of wands 
And the five of wands is all about feeling internally conflicted. You know, do I go this way? Do I go that way? Where, where, what do I do? You know, one day I'm up, next day I'm down. One day I'm good, next day I'm bad. And this is about, it's like it's like setting, you, setting your focus, setting your eyes on your prize and like really controlling that mind onto, look, I'm just focusing on this for now. And that's when you start to see this success come in. Can you see it's different suit, but it's the five to the six. Get up, Virgo, from that clear it move into this energy that's what i feel right now virgo the person right who left you out in the cold right i feel you're fast moving to a space where you're going to leave them out in the cold the five of coins as you start this new journey as you go after your success your greater god i'm telling you now before you know it this one swings back round reverse the place you're in don't be don't be the one that feels left behind be the one that's leaping forward that's what i want to say to you right and they soon want to know how you've done it because i'm not liking the energy that's been around this virgo during 2020 and these twos here though are saying it's time to start a brand new beginning go for it right go for it that's what i'm getting they were not worth your time well, here we go, a flyer. Go for it. We've had the two of ones, we've got the three of ones. This is your ships will come in, baby. Your ships will come in. Can you see, again, if it's divinely guided, divinely guided in, and you may have sat here waiting a long time. But again, Virgo, I'm drawn. Can you see, it's like sat naked. Sometimes it has a traveler's cloak on in, in some decks. Can you see, naked, naked? It's like when you release these old burdens that have got you down, crushed, that's what I feel, moving to your victory and success. Forgetting the fact that someone, you know, don't get hung up, that someone will put you in that energy, five of cups, five of coins. No, no, no. If they're going to do it, they're going to do it. I'm not going to be hung up about it. I'm just doing me and focusing forward. In come my ships, yeah. And this is fresh. It's bright. It's new. And that's what I feel. Virgo, a big change for you. The fool here going into 2021. I feel you're finally shedding the skin as well of your death and rebirth. I really do. I do, right? Okay, for this Virgo, new love, new opportunities. And put new love for yourself as well. Yeah, so I'll take it. New love for yourself. That's right. Have faith. It's all going to be fine, right? It's all going to be fine, Virgo. Keep with your spirituality. Keep with your manifestation. Keep with your focus. Higher font as well, wisest in the deck. You know, it can be really good sometimes because when we're trying to chew through matters of the heart and mind it all gets a bit muddly like a washing machine doesn't it it's like you can sit there and think yeah well i'm not going there again or i'm not interested in them and then something will bubble up and sometimes it's good to write it down and say well actually what did i actually get out of that relationship how much of the time was i feeling really happy and how much of the time was i feeling really down and then it can be really starting to get it clear in your mind even though it can hurt to do it get it clear in your mind how beneficial was that to me really because I'll tell you now, the mind's very good, you know, at romanticising the truth of a situation. Come back to it. Anyone who puts you in the five of cups is not where you want to be. Look at this, six of cups. Get up, go towards a new soulmate. That's what I feel. May have been a soulmate that brought you down here for a minute, Virgo. May have been, and that's why it hurts so much, but we have many soulmates. If you're asking me, am I going to find love like that again? Yeah, you are. And not only that, you'll find better love because do you know what you do? You learn from how you let that one in in the first place and you don't allow it again. Going forward, you're much more discerning. Here it is. Look at this beautiful Knight of Cups, a solid love offer you can rely on. Virgo, no more bullshit from the past. No, no, no. Happiness within me. I'm number one. Anything else comes additional to that, right? And it's I'll do my assessment to make sure it's a true knight of cups. Someone who is going to, I can depend on, a soulmate that is trustworthy. Not this broken fool. That's what I feel. This broken fool from the past. And there you have it. Ten of cups. Okay, now Virgo. Happy, joy, 
contentment, right? Leaving what I think you thought was your Ten of Cups behind to gain and grow your next Ten of Cups, the real deal. That's what I feel. The real deal on its way in for this Virgo. Yeah, they were not worth your time, whoever you're leaving behind. Okay, so Virgo, that's what I'm feeling. Victory and success here, Ace of Wands. Quite a powerful uh, year for you next year, but change as well. Crown this reading in the tarot for me before I move to the furries, please, Spirit. Tell me what this faith is saying. Palace of Wands. This is about taking your energy to your most creative place, looking at you, looking at what you want, Virgo, and allowing yourself to believe in it, right? Passion, reignite that fire in your heart, reignite that passion, but it's all about you, right? That's what I feel. And you're just buzzing. I feel you're just going to be buzzing. And it, it, it's like they always say, don't they? And I feel it's so true. When you're not looking for love, in it bombs, right? In it comes. Now, whatever you've been asked to do here might involve some risk, Virgo. You've got to do your own risk assessment. Fool already showed itself, okay? You might not know which way to turn. We've now got the third two on the board. I'm only missing the two of pentacles, which is about building your legacy. So, Virgo, I want to say to you, you may be presented with something that feels like a bit of a risk, right? I I take the risk if it feels right. If my intuition's telling me to do it, I do it all day long. You've got to make your own decision. You may feel for a minute, I don't know which way to turn. Can you say blindsided? Go quiet, go within. What do I feel? Take out the fear and worry. Don't get involved in that. Just say, really, what would make me so happy? And am I willing to start taking the two of ones there, those steps towards it? Because it's on that journey, I think, where you find your true ten of cups, not this bullshit devil. I told you that the reason you went through what you went through, Virgo, is because they pushed you through your death and rebirth. Can you see it? Virgo, you are finally, finally shedding the skin of the old. Not just them, but you, your way of being. That's what I feel. You're coming through. You know, like the fool here jumped out the birdcage. You're not puppeteering me anymore. You're not fucking who you said you were. I'm moving into this, rebirthing my brand new self. I just feel I'm connecting with somebody who is going to... Do I want to say reinvent themselves? It's not that you're fraudulently reinventing yourself. It's just, it's like you're finally coming up for her thinking, why was I allowing things like that in my life? Why was I allowing myself to feel hurt like that? And why was I allowing myself to be held back like that? And Virgo, I feel you're entering 2021 in a brand new energy, death and rebirth here next to the devil. That's absolutely, let it go for that reason. Whatever hurt me, whatever put me in the pain, it pushed me through this. It's going to bring magic and joy into my life that's what i feel but you've got to get creative and go into your palace of ones first where am i what am i wishing for and set that intention very clearly to the universe now what i've been doing is taking some wisdom of um avalon cards at the beginning of the readings that kirsten a subscriber sent me and she sent me this amazing flag as well the strength flag but virgo i just wanted to crack straight into it with you so i'm gonna go and take some from those now Right, for Virgo, please. Just want to know where you are on your journey. 2021 for Virgo, please. Thank you, Spirit. It's such a beautiful deck of cards. Right, for Spirit, for Virgo. Okay. Yeah. 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 What'd I say to you? Fucking hell. Right, risk. I said to you, you're gonna as you go into this new skin, this new light, maybe that you're more prepared to take some risks, but you're gonna be on a part of your journey where something feels there's a bit of a risk. You know, can't quite see what's at the end of that path, not sure what I'm gonna find on that journey. Do I do it? Right? So Virgo, it's exciting for me, right? Because I I like maybe it's just me, I like to live like that. But um, you know, it is. You're gonna come across it and it's up to you to decide whether you're gonna take it or not and move forward. And remember the divine will present you with these opportunities, but they absolutely respect your decision, your free will, right? But I go for the ride, but that's me. 
okay i would i would as long as i would say as long as you're not basing your decision on fear and worry because fear and worry is, is unfounded yeah it's not facts and figures is it all right it's just a sense of oh shit what if something bad happens oh or well, something bad doesn't right and only good does that's what i think right positive thinking yeah so earlier right this is who you're going to meet on your path male or female king of autumn right compassionate accomplished charismatic and gifted it's croning this reading beautifully but i also think right virgo this is where you're heading as well you're moving into that space yourself and that's where you meet this 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 soulmate is on the same level as you be assertive when it comes to what you know is right everything going your way a good person or company to work for told you it's absolutely you're going into I, I feel a beautiful a beautiful um new beginning and then look at you the showing right ace of summer open your heart to love the beginning of a new intimate relationship told you or the rebirth of an, a current one told you at the beginning of the reading the awakening of psychic abilities or spiritual epiphanies death and rebirth skin shed live in a different realm now see the world in a completely different way does this virgo get one risk i'll look at that risk i'll take it the fool here because i understand my thoughts become my reality and i am in control of whether i sit around someone else's dark energies or whether i power forward and create my own magical opportunities Virgo, it's gorgeous. All right, so I'm going to leave it there. Hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do let me know, uh, like, comment. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. Help us keep growing the channel. I have got some private readings opened up for next week. I'm doing just a week in advance now. Um, so if you're interested in that let me know because i did have to shut them down for a bit while i caught up with everybody um so yeah do let me know so sound at gmail.com and if you do want to join the members group we're only just forming it but hit the join button uh, there's a link below as well it'd be fab to see you there uh, and i hope you all enjoyed the live reading we did last night um as well all right guys leaving it there virgo stay safe and i will see you in about a week's time or maybe this week see how it goes for your december readings i'm trying to get them all out this week Woo! See you soon.